Maya puzzle looks like a toy, but it functions both as a training uh, situation and a test situation uh, in many children, especially young children and children who have communication problems. You see that there is uh, the colorful side and uh, then the play situation and the test situation is such that we place one, usually this one first, uh, in the middle of the um, puzzle and ask the child where sh do, uh, should you place it. And then when you see the child putting it in the cutout, then we say uh, softly, that was good, and go to the following one and then to the more difficult ones. And in the beginning, we are nice and put them in the correct direction on the puzzle board. Later on, we give them in wrong direction to see how well the child um, understands the direction of the object to be correct with the same uh, of the cutout. Then when child can function on the colorful side, we turn the puzzle board to the black and white side and test very much the same way. When the child can function on this side, then we can use the, the um, puzzle board either as a key card or we teach the child the next step, which is um, which, uh, then use these pictures of the cutouts and ask the child, where would you like to put this puzzle piece? And then we see whether the child has understood that pictures can um, represent concrete objects. And we see the child placing the uh, puzzle piece on the correct uh, symbol. When that is possible, then the next step is that we ask a child, now uh, we have several smaller cards. On which one would you like to put this one? Now then the child has to develop the concept that also smaller forms can represent a bigger object and places it on the correct one. And then we can go to smaller and smaller and smaller and then we are already measuring visual acuity with single symbols, which is one of the basic tests with children who uh, have communication problems.